Have you ever sent out an email and wished you could recall it or maybe even edit it? Maybe you've uh, had the wrong price, uh, you had a typo in there, or maybe it was going to the wrong person. And for whatever reason, you wished you wouldn't have pressed that send button. Well, we're going to show you in this uh, video how to uh, make those adjustments. And uh, let's go and check, check that out right now. All right, as you can see here, I've got Outlook open. Um, so I'm going to be looking over here because that's where my screen is, but I know you're right there. So we'll have a conversation as we're going through. So first of all, I've got, I've set this up so that I've got uh, two inboxes, one from training. So I'm going to be sending out an email from training at CoreLogix and the person's going to receive it as taught at CoreLogix and we're going to have a look at how this works. Now, we're also going to have a look at how this will work in other platforms other than Outlook. So this works really good going from Outlook to Outlook, but what happens if you go from Outlook to uh, something like Gmail? We're going to show you how that works as well. So first of all, let's create an email. And we're going to send it to uh, Todd. There we are, Todd Miller. No, that's the wrong one. Todd at corelogics.ca there we go and let's just call this test one can't type today and uh, we'll put in here test and then we're going to press send now if if we go over to Todd's uh, inbox now you'll see here and now this must be an older one yeah this is an older one we're going to just blow that one away this is Part of my test I was doing. So in a second, it's going to come through here, and we just want to see that it's come through. Now, if the person opens the email or does not open the email, it will still pull it out. So you, you got to hope that there's a, some time frame before the guy goes and opens it, uh, and uh, you actually retrieve it or edit it. So you can see it's there. Um, I can click on it and look at it. Let's go back out to the sent item. So this is how you'll actually recall or edit. You go to your sent items, you find the one that you sent, double click to pop it out. So it's got to be popped out like this. So step one, go to your sent items. Step two, pop it out, double click, click on it and pop it out. Then go to file and you're going to go down here to resend or recall. And you're going to recall this message. So in here you have two options, delete the, uh, the email or uh, delete unread copies and replace with a new message. So you have a choice here. So we're going to, in this set, this one, we're going to actually just delete it. So I'll press OK. <coughs> now I'll just close this off. We're going to go into Todd's record here. And you'll see it's actually gone. It's actually removed it. So let's go back into our, our main one here. It's actually going to send you a, a, a report as well. Now, because I'm in a demo database and the way I've got it set up, uh, I, I can't really review the report, but you would just click on uh, view uh, message report, uh, re recall report, and it'll give you some explanations there. Uh, and that automatically comes in. But we're going to send out a new one, and we're going to do again to Todd at corelogics.ca. This will be test two. Test, and we'll send that out. So again, you'll see down here, Todd will get a, uh, a new message here in a sec. There it is. There it is there. And I spelled test wrong. Uh, so we're going to go to our sent folder now. There it is there, test two or est two. Uh, we're going to pull that up. We're going to go to file. Come on. There we are. And we're going to send and recall. Recall this message. This time, we're going to delete the uncopied and we're going to edit it. So when we go OK, then we're going to go in here. We're going to go uh, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to go send. So now let's go back. Let's close this off. Let's go back over to Todd here. And so what it did is it deleted that original message and then it sent it with the whatever change I've made. So you can change price, you can edit the typo, uh, make whatever adjustments are. The only thing you have to be concerned is 
what's the time frame there between them uh, opening it or not? So they may open it up and go, oh, and they're starting to read, and all of a sudden it will delete, and then it will get replaced if you're sending one, or if you're just deleting, it will delete it, and uh, uh, it'll be just like somebody grabbing the paper out of their hand and uh, won't have access to it any longer. So now that we've done that, we're going to send this off to Gmail so you can actually see how this would work in a Gmail environment. So we're going to go back up here. There's our report. We'll turf that. We're going to send out a new email. We're going to send this to clxcrm at gmail.com. There we are. And we're going to go new test. And new test. All right, so we've got that set up. We're sending it. What we'll do is go over to our uh, Gmail account. And there it is. You see that it's come in there. Now let's go back to our Outlook and let's delete that and see what happens. All right, here we are. Let's go into the sent items. Double click. Click on file. Down to resend recall. And we're going to recall this message. And we're just going to delete this one. And you'll see what happens here. So we're going to delete this. We'll press OK. Close this off. We'll go over to our Gmail account. So it doesn't delete it. What it will do is it will do a recall to pull it. So they get to still read this. And then they get to read a request that, uh, that they're being pulled out. So when you use this recall or recall and edit, um, you'll want to make sure that hopefully the person you're doing this to on the other end is using Outlook. Most, if you're doing business to business, in most cases, most people are using um, Outlook, but you may run into people that are using another email platform. So this really works with Outlook to Outlook as opposed to maybe other platforms that are out there. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. We'll see you on the next video and hopefully you have a great day. Bye for now.